Uh, this is our last show for quite some time, you know, our first download, our first big festival in the UK. Um, new bass player, um, tons, you know, new songs, new record we're going to record when we go home. Tons, tons, wheels are turning. <laughs> it's going to be very, very rock and roll, you know, versus... Um, versus the, the metal side of our band, I think is gonna be not quite as prevalent on this record. I think the whole screaming thing is gonna maybe die down just a little bit. I mean, it's, it's not like we're shunning metal or punk or anything like that, you know? Uh, more rock and roll, you know what I mean? Maybe a little more 4-4. <laughs> I don't think we ever make a conscious decision to try to do anything, you know? It's just, um, it just, it's just coming out that way. You know, we're getting a little older now, you know, we're 23 and 22 as opposed to, you know, 18 and 19. And we just don't have so much to um, spaz out and scream about anymore. You know, we want to get in the pocket and move some heads. I mean, yeah, yeah, we, we just, I just got a sponsorship through, uh, through Buddha. And I also have a sponsorship through Orange and Gibson are very, very good to us. Love Gibson. Um, you know, like, yeah, um, for this record, we're definitely going to be picking up a lot of stuff. I think I'm going to start stepping into the world of keyboards a little bit because our new bass player, Frank, actually uh, plays quite a mean guitar. So I think we're, we're going to maybe um, hand over a baritone to him once in a while and see what happens, maybe throw some keyboards on. And... I, I, I mean, obviously, obviously, Rick Wakeman from Yes is, like, a pretty amazing keyboard player, but, I mean, you know, like, um, a lot of B, B3 players. There's a band called The Hold Steady that are on Vagrant. Yeah, and you know, they have a lot of B3 and like kind of rock and roll piano kind of shit that's like pretty cool. Not so much synth, you know what I mean? Like Rhodes and Wurlitzer and, and whatever. Mentality is where Nirvana comes in importantly. You know, we're a three-piece band. Like we go out and we give everything we can possibly give um, out there, you know? And, and not only that, like... I think more so than the technical side of the guitar playing, it's yeah. it's the noise and the sound manipulation that I really learned from, from Kurt Cobain, you know? It's using feedback and turning your amp up way too loud, and that's how you make it sound good, as opposed to, you know, like, no disrespect to it, but, like, bands that go out on stage and play really quiet, sounds really tight. Like, yeah. that's just not... That doesn't do anything for me. Sure, yeah. it's, it's kind of an adrenaline thing, I guess. It's absolutely an adrenaline thing. I mean, what is rock and roll if it's not an adrenaline thing?